Hi guys, welcome back. Today we have uh, a cherry moya, which we're gonna taste test. The first one for 2022 from the um, Fino or Finna de Hete tree. So I picked it last week. It's been in the house for about five or six days and it's soft and it's got a sweet custard apple kind of smell at the moya smell or cherry moya whichever way you want to say it we have both here and I don't think I'm gonna wait any longer I'm confident that this first one is ready and hopefully it's sweet we'll find out together guys wish me luck the reason i need luck is because i've had no luck with cherry moya ate moya for the last eight years as far as taste not production like the fruit comes every year but the taste doesn't come when i say taste i'm talking sugary sweetness which is what they're renowned for they're bland, they're rubbery. Even the texture isn't right. That's got to do with timing, I, I would say. But uh, the taste, I don't know what's up with that because I've tried it early, mid and late um, picking and haven't had much luck. I did have luck with the first sweet Atemoya a month ago, if you look back. And I'm hoping for the same today with our first Cherry Moya. Let's have a look, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it in half, right? And then pull out the, the core right there and take it from there. Okay. So I sliced it. There's the core that you um, can eat if you want, but I prefer to pull it off. All right. This guy here. See that? All right. Okay, looking good, looking good. I'm just crossing my fingers that it's not rubbery because it does have a rubbery sort of um, look and feel, but I'm optimistic. It's got a divine smell. Oh, yeah, it smells just like uh, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam. It's got that tropical essence of uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, if you've been there and you've tried the fruits, in Asia, you know what I'm talking about. Look how gorgeous it looks next to my um, mouth. Mmm, pretty, huh? Looking for a, a thumbnail before I take a bite. So first I want to remove many of the seeds here. I don't want to put those in my mouth. This one is really full of seeds, loaded. And we don't like that. That's one of the main reasons this tree, uh, sorry, this uh, fruit has not been a commercial success in the West. The Asians don't seem to mind. They're not so fussy as uh, Europeans. But the uh, Aussies will not eat this fruit, mainly because of the, uh, the seeds. Yep, well, that's my... Um, the feedback I've gotten when I'm in the tropics, when I talk to people on the street, in the market. All right, here we go. Woo! Mmm. Rubbery. Oh. It's rubbery. And a lot of seeds inside too. Only a hint of sweetness. A 
I'm a little disappointed. Mm. This one did not fall off the tree. I picked it myself. It's so close to being right. It's like I'm biting into it, which you're not meant to. It's meant to be like custard, right? Like cream. This ain't creamy at all. At all. Darn. Look at all the seeds here. Look at this. And I've only pulled the seeds out from one third of the fruit. Look at that. Just from, just from this guy here. Can you believe it? That's why it's not popular with so many people. But um, that doesn't bother me. For me, it's the um, the taste, guys. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed because I had high expectations. Mm, nah, I can't do it. That would be a two out of ten. Or a 1 out of 5. I'll try the other half just in case that's a little softer. Okay, this is the other half of the um, Cherry Moya. No, oh, same. It's rubbery. It's really weird because it smells sweet. It smells very sweet. Like, like I'm smelling the top of um, a jar of honey. All across, but it doesn't taste like it smells. Yeah. Now, I don't know if it's because it needed to sit on the counter longer. It was five days, or maybe six days. I've never had to wait more than five days for um, cherry moya or ate moya to, to ripen on the counter. So I thought that was long enough, and... I'll show you how soft it is too. Hang on. Watch. Would you have sliced it open? Look. Right? That's pretty soft. That's not tough at all. Right? You can't say that's tough. It's pretty soft and yet it's rubbery it's not creamy all right guys i won't uh torture myself or you uh, any longer that that was the taste test on um today's uh cherry moya i'm gonna go out right there and show you the tree once again it's still coldish we've had a horrible week of weather only 10 to 16 celsius all week but the good news is tomorrow summer will return <laughs> all right here's the tree that guy there look at the size of him he's 10 years old or maybe 11 years old right we're not talking about a little tree like this kumquat which has perfectly matured and uh tasty fruit on it only after two years so I don't know what's going on here after 10 years. They say, okay, this is what I've been told. It's not warm enough here. It's too cold. I've also been told there's not enough humidity here. And I've been told this variety might be, sorry, this particular tree might be a lemon, a dud, a bad um, example. They're the three reasons I've been given why I've had no luck. Um, I don't buy it though. I do not buy it, guys. There has to be, there has to be um, another reason. And I don't know what that reason is. I'm guessing it's something to do with timing. Like, there you go, there's another view of them. And they're whoppers, they're not small. These are as big as commercially grown cherry moya right they're not small they're not like these ones here which are small 
right? This is a whopper. Look at the size of this guy. As big as my palm. So there's a lot of um, growth in there. And the cherry maya is not designed for the true tropics. It's designed for the subtropics. It's a subtropical tree. Unlike the atemoya, which is very tropical. But the thing is, the atemoya I tried a month ago was sweet. So go figure. Go figure what's going on. Why aren't these sweet? This should be even sweeter than the atemoya. So, is there any genius out there who has any idea what's going on? Look at the size of this one. It's massive. Right? And there's a lot of them. There's at least 20. If I count the, the little ones here, which won't ever make it. But look at that one down there. That one there. That's the biggest. That's massive. That's like a, a, a mammoth. Cussed apple. So guys, um, what I'm going to do next, so I don't have to go through that again, is wait for these to fall. I'm not going to pick them like I did that one. The one I tasted. I'm going to wait for them to fall and then I'm going to put them on the, on the counter and wait for them to soften on the counter after they've dropped, not before. The reason I did it before is because <clears throat> I've also had a bad experience um, letting them sit on the tree until they drop and, and, and when I pick them up they're all black inside. They're rotten. Ah, they're rotten. So they're either rotten when they drop or they're rubbery if they're picked too soon. Go figure. All right, guys, we're all learning together, right? That's the fun of this. Remember, if it's not fun, it's not worth doing. Thanks for watching. Please uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, even though the taste was, <laughs> was a thumbs down. <laughs> um, it's all about fun, guys, and exploration and learning. Thanks.